Welcome to this edition of Go Go KO. Today we're going to be discussing Pocket Toys PT05 Ruiner B Bruticus's Onslaught Trailer faction. We've dealt with all five of the Combaticons and Bruticus, but it is time to look a little bit at the trailer because really this is how it gets made. You don't make Bruticus uh, without the trailer components. It really is sort of the sixth component. It is the size of anyone. It does not transform into uh, another robot. It does transform into the trailer, but it does have a mid mode where it's sort of a totem, a sort of place where I guess the Combaticons worship Bruticus, I, I guess, because it's just got his head. Um, so let's take a quick look at it. Here is the trailer plus Onslaught's uh, railgun super laser cannon, whatever this thing is, which is awesome. It looks great with the light piping. Um, matches very nicely to the purple detailing here. This is supposed to carry, the trailer is supposed to carry, I guess, um, you know, the shuttle and act as either a launching pad for it or, I don't know, maybe these are supposed to be missiles even though the back hands are stored in there not too subtly. In the Bruticus version, I showed you how cool those hands are and they are. They're on wheels. This is very not stable. You press on it, it just comes apart. It is held together uh, mostly by hoping it'll stay together. So in terms of playability, it really, you want, you want Onslaught to ditch this as quickly as possible. Um, it looks hodgepodge. There's no way, there's no way around it. Um, the plastic for all of the pieces is good, but put, to, put together, they're not that good. So it looks like a thing. It is very much ad hoc. It is very much not looking great. Um, I guess with this little cockpit -y thing here, you can sort of roll this over and make it look like it's its own vehicle. I guess um, I, it, it doesn't work, um, but it's okay. It, it attaches to Onslaught. Um, and it does what it has to do, which is it helps them combine to Bruticus. As I've said with all combiners, there's always a serious level of compromise that has to go in because you've got to create good-looking robots, good-looking vehicles, and a functioning combiner, and that's hard to do. And you'll always basically have a stronger side than uh, on at least one than the others, if not two out of one. Um, so sometimes they fail and, and the pocket toys look so good and the reason that they look so good is the main compromise is all the kibble that they would need to carry if they were going to be uh, non-parts forming were moved into this part these parts forming pieces now in order to make the totem you have to have the trailer from onslaught you have to have swindle's roll bar and you have to have onslaught's gun so quite a lot comes off so let's just take it apart piece by piece here is the hitch, which of course is Bruticus's uh, cod piece, his skirt. And that'll fit together like that, and that'll be you'll you'll remember that that's exactly what it looks like from Bruticus. There's of course the top torso, which just pops out. So in order to get this to work, we tab up the wheels. They just swivel out, um, and these will have to come out. These are Bruticus's shoulders. Then you have Bruticus's chest piece and head. Let's pull Bruticus up. There he is. As I noted in the Bruticus video, I, he's got these beautiful translucent plastic parts here. They're not light pipe, but they do catch the light very nicely. Um, and they, I put on a, tra a transparent Decepticon symbol there. I thought it looked really good. Um, and it does. Pull up Bruticus's Roman-esque helmet top. That's cool. Um, the rocket launcher pieces are, of course, here still, and we'll close the feet up, and you have the base. We'll fold away the wheels. That sits nice and stable. The shoulders of Bruticus sit up here with this piece hanging down. The roll bar piece has these two pegs that peg in here. You have to peg them in with these two pegs fitting down and this fits on to the totem that's nice turn it around you got these two pegs you got these two pegs here they fit in very nicely to make the back of the totem
the missile launcher -y, uh blast absorber for the space shuttle -y pieces that are frankly just hand holding kibble fit in very nicely here totem has these two pegs that sit out at the edge of the shoulders uh, bruticus's chest piece of, again has these recessed holes you want to keep the head down because it's got to fit in head fits under and everything should tab in very nicely so there you have a fully functioning bruticus totem the combaticons i suppose worship it i mean what else is it it doesn't fight it doesn't do anything it's not a battle station it's bruticus's head on a strange looking pile of bruticus parts um and again this is sort of a look you can do something with it because otherwise it's just strange kibble it doesn't work particularly well as a trailer the totem looks cool but like what is it other than where the combaticons worship so here we have the combaticons plus their totem which gives them i don't know maybe they maybe they have to pray to bruticus in order to form bruticus i don't know um, stranger things have been part of the transformers lore the point is this was created simply because they had to put all the kibble someplace else in order to get good-looking figures, good-looking vehicle modes, and a good-looking Bruticus. And Pocket Toys has done that remarkably well. So I'm not going to complain too much. They look great. Um, but as far as look goes, um, you know, I give it a 6 out of 10. As far as the trailer goes... It has wheels, so I guess it's a trailer, but it's so multicolored and hodgepodgey and it doesn't fit together particularly well and it doesn't look like a thing. Um, it's, it's just there and it's a, it, it's, it is the main compromise of this piece. But as compromises go, it works so well because it allows all the other components to look so good. And I can't complain too loudly about that. Similarly... Uh, the transformation, it doesn't transform so much as parts form. Um, you know, the transformation, again, I'm going to give, you know, a 3 out of 10 because it doesn't do very much. All the pieces just fit together and they are hodgepodgey. Um, the posability. So let's talk about posability. As a trailer, um, it doesn't have much in the way of posability. But as the totem, you know, obviously you want it to look the way it does. Um, it is its own pose, but it's quite, quite good. The totem looks pretty cool, so I'll, I'll, I'll give the whole thing a 5 out of 10. Um, the plastic, as ever, is spot on. I am surprised at how good the quality is. These uh, antenna, the antenna and the headpiece of Bruticus are all articulated. That is pretty impressive. Um, and not to be scoffed at, because they're not, they don't feel like they're going to break too much. The antenna are sort of rubberized they they feel like they're not going to break pretty well it's really well done um so for plastic i give it a 10 out of 10 and for price i give it a 10 out of 10